Test cricket, have you rectified that wrong? Yes, I was very nervous coming into this game. Um, even the warm-up game, my batting, <laughs> I played as if I was playing a T20 game. Um, so yeah, just, just happy with the outcome today. Thank you. Um, for those, please go ahead. Thanks, Lita. Hi, Marizan. Will Bevan. Uh, Marizan, you've had an amazing run with the bat uh, in ODI cricket over the last couple of years, and you seem to have translated that now. Um, what's changed, and, and you know, is there anything that you've been specifically concentrating on that you know really turned you into this uh, incredible all rounder? Um, not too much has changed, to be honest. Um, I've always enjoyed my batting. I just feel like at times it's it's so difficult to to focus on on both bowling and batting. So I feel like one always takes preference. Um, I've been working with uh, with some special coaches as well. That's that's really helped me um, on this journey. And I think it's just the confidence is growing, and that's why probably why I'm, I'm starting to play a lot better. No, not really. Um, <laughs> Luca was a bit, a bit nervous this morning with, with our start, um, but again, that happens within cricket. Um, I'll, 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 I had a few messages from, from family and friends back home, so I'll, I'll have a read through that, and um, yeah, hopefully tomorrow we can come back strong. Thank you. Uh, Gomesh, please go ahead. Thank you, Doug. Um, I got well paid. Congratulations on the innings. So I just want to understand, following up on something Pedro had asked, it seems like you cannot put the foot wrong in 2022. Uh, if you could elaborate a bit more on uh, you know, the kind of work you did with uh, some of the specialists you said you are working with. Work in 2022. I've just been absolutely blessed. Um, obviously, Jesus Christ has been so good to me. Um, still don't know why. Um, but no, look, it's, it's just some small things I've, I've been working on. Um, there's a few of them that's been helping me. But again, I think it, it just comes down to confidence. And it, I think it, it took one or two innings for me um, against um, some of the, the stronger teams that, that just helped me um, cross that line. And I think I should be good going forward now. Thank you. And all the rest of the world. Thanks, Kamish. You were never known from seeing you out there that you'd only played one test match before. How did you personally feel when you were by? Um, again, <laughs> when I first started, I was very nervous, um, especially like you guys know that the first test match was an absolute nightmare. <laughs> um, but no, I think it, it's just you have to focus a bit longer. It, it, it's still cricket. Yes, it is challenging. Um, I'm not going to lie, but I think it's, if, you, if you take it ball by ball, session by session, it, it makes it a bit easier. Thank you. Ananya, please go ahead. Oh, thanks, Lita. Um, congratulations, Marizan, um, on that 100. Um, just over the last couple of years, you, you seem to have really mastered the art of batting with the lower order, especially. Um, what is the secret to that, according to you? And, and what types of conversations were you having with the likes of Annika and Nadine and, and Tumi out there today? I think it actually helps me a lot more than, than what it helps them. Because um, if I focus on the other batter, it seemed to to take the pressure off me, especially that's what happened throughout the World Cup as well. So I, I feel like when I give advice, I kind of forget the situation we are in and it, it helps me focus a bit more. Um, yeah, I was just telling them to, to just stay in as, for as long as possible because I knew um, the older the ball got, I could take them, um, the England bowlers on a bit more. Um, and I knew they were tired as well. Being a bowler, you know, <laughs> that that last session was going to be tough. Um, so yeah, for me it was, I just tried to to help them through it and and give advice where I can. And I think they did brilliantly. Awesome. Thanks, Amelia. We don't necessarily see you smiling that much, <laughs> and you are today. Um, amongst all the achievements of your career, how does making 150 in Test match rank? Yeah, look, usually I aim for 50s, <laughs> especially in, in the formats we play. But, but to come out today and, and score that 150, is, it's, it's pretty special for me. And I think it's, it's going to be a, a massive highlight um, in my career. Thank you. Shoni, uh, please go ahead. Thanks, Lita. I'm well better, Marizan. Um, if this has been asked, I'll skip. 
But just um, how different is it for you batting in the test? And do you have to kind of adjust how you do things and how you think things through when you are batting? Um, yes and no. I think the type of batter that I am, um, I am usually a bit a bit slower than the rest, and I take my time. Um, I've been working really hard on my white ball game, and when I played that warm-up game a few days ago, I was like, I shouldn't be playing test matches because um, I was playing a T20. Um, but again, yeah, I don't know. Luckily today, it, it came off from, for me and my team, and I think again, if you just take it ball by ball and forget about the colour of the ball that's coming towards you, it, it, it really helps a lot. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of talk about women's tests and should there be more of them? And I guess coming from a perspective where you haven't played that many, would you like to play more? Honestly, at the age where I'm at now, <laughs> it probably wouldn't be the best decision. But I definitely feel like if, if we want to grow women's cricket even more, it, it's definitely needed because it's out there where you can try things and, and learn so much about yourself. Um, so I, d I would definitely like to see um, women's cricket play a lot more tests because um, it, will, it will be good for the game. Thanks so much. Morgan, uh, please go ahead. Thanks, Eita. Hi, Rosanne. Sorry, I, it's a little difficult here with the floors asking, but if you take your 150 and learning your second test match, how would you rate this as one of your best, would you rate this as probably one of your finer innings in your career as a player? Yes, definitely. I think it would be right up there. Um, it was a, a special moment today. Um, still have to re reflect on it, but um, no, it's, it's definitely going to be one of, one of the highlights of my cricketing career. Thanks, Morgan. Just in the general context of the game, um, what, what sort of score is that? I think where we were at, it's, it's a good score. Um, if you asked me when we were, what, I think 50 or something for four, um, and, you, and you gave me that score, I would grab it with both hands. Um, look, it, it, it's still going to be tough, especially for our bowlers, that, that we could, it does flatten out, but I, I'm happy with that score. Thank you. And just the last three from our media in, in virtual. Please, can uh, Rupesh please go ahead and then Keena and then we'll finish off with the dose. Uh, Rupesh, please go ahead. Thank you so much for your time, Marisan. Uh, I just wanted to know that what technical adjustments did you make in order to counter the dudes fall out there in the middle? Honestly, I didn't change anything. Um, I think I just played the way I, I play my game. Um, I think if you... If you focus too much on the ball and the fact that it's a, a test match, um, you end up going out. I think that's the mistake I made in the warm-up game. I was, I left balls that that was there to to drive. And I think if you don't change too much, um, you, you'll come come out all right. Thank you so much. All the best. Thanks, Rupesh. Uh, Keenan, please go ahead. I'm Marizan, well played today. Um, I was just wondering if you could take us through, um, put us in your feet um, when you walked out at 45 or 4, um, the pressure on and what was the tactics and the, the chat out there? Um, I'm, I'm going to lie if I say I wasn't nervous. Um, I was nervous. Um, and they were bowling pretty well with, with that new newish ball. Um, but we just we just said to ourselves if if we stay in there as long as possible, um, we we would get the runs. It would get easier because um, I've seen as soon as that ball gets older, um, the outfield got a bit quicker as well t uh, towards the end of the day. So I knew if if we could stay in for as long as possible, you can cash in at the back end. Thanks, Keenan, and for those, please finish us off. Thank you. Oh, is that an old hand? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm just kidding. Um, can I just ask you your impression of the, the English bowlers, especially Izzy Bond, uh, you know, being a bowler yourself? What did you see from them that impressed you? Um, no, look, when she bowled the first over this morning, I, I told our team doctor, um, I believe she's going to go far. Um, I think she's, she has what it takes. She'll be a, a good bowler one day. But no, they overall as a unit, I, I feel like they bowled really well. Um, it, do, it obviously does get harder to bowl once the ball is, is so much older um, and with a quick outfield. 
Um, so overall, I felt like they, they really bowled well. And for me, the goal was to just get through the, the tough sessions and then I knew I could cash in back end. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, everyone else in attendance as well. Um, we appreciate it.